Good morning. Welcome to Good Day LA. I'm Steve Edwards, and here's the fake news. If you know this, it's classic. Uh, the Secret Policeman's Ball, uh, the film festival starring, uh, started by John Cleese and his Monty Python fans, celebrating his 30th anniversary. It's got a, quite a history, and we have the guy behind all of it when we come back. All right, uh, those of you who know this are fanatic about it. The rest of you, you'll find out about the Secret Policeman's Film Festival. It was started by John Cleese and Monty Python and some of those 30 years ago to do good things in the world. Martin Lewis is here with us. Now, Martin is a British guy who basically explains America to the Brits and the Brits to Americans. How's that? <laughs> yeah, I, I translate for you, Steve. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Many, many years ago in Britain, you were like 12 years old when you got involved with the Secret Policeman's Ball. It was... Uh, John Cleese, among others, and they wanted to get some of their comedian actor friends together to do some good. You expanded this, and tell us what this has led to. Well, really, uh, John Cleese wanted to help Amnesty International, the human mm -hmm. rights organization, so he offered to put on a show and get a few pals. But, of course, his pals were Monty Python, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, and all the greats of British comedy. And that's how it started. Um, and over the years, the show's carried on to the present day. Uh, people like uh, the young Hugh Laurie, aged only... <laughs> Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry. Yeah. And uh, Rowan Atkinson. John Cleese was always finding these... And he was a kid, right? Rowan now, Atkinson. Now, who is yeah. that there? That's John and... Yeah, that's, uh, that's with Michael Palin from Monty Python. That's the famous dead with parrot the sketch, of course. Oh, my God, they were kids. They were. But these shows have been going on for 30 years, so we thought it would be a good idea to have an anniversary celebration. So there's a film festival that's... <laughs> there's Hugh Laurie. I know, Hugh Laurie. Very oh young looking. That's House. That's House. House. When, yeah. he was a, when he was a young performer, he was a young comedian in England. And so the film festival is on, first of all, at the Egyptian Theatre this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then for a month afterwards at the Paley Centre. And the idea is to show that, you know, comedians uh, really want to draw attention to Amnesty International, but you have a great laugh at the same time. But you also expanded it to music. I did. Well, I was, I mean, as you mentioned, I was rather young at the Very time. Young, yes. <laughs> but I mentioned to John Cleese, look, it's great we've got all these great comedians, but could we have a little bit of music? And John Cleese he said to me, look, I'm not Get really... Get the Beatles. Well, he, no, he was a classical guy. Yeah, a classical yeah. music guy. He said, I'm not really into this pop music with all these guys with their banjos. But if, you, <laughs> but if you want to get along a couple of the musicians, you could do so. Well, I called up Pete Townsend and then Sting, and, you know, they all wanted to be on the show. And over the years, it expanded. We got uh, Phil Collins... Bob Geldof, who got the idea... Was this guy Springsteen? Is that yes, true? Bruce Springsteen yeah. came on board. Yeah, I know him. And uh, you 2 that's the guys from Led Zeppelin. Uh -huh. Bob Geldof came and performed, and afterwards he went on and did Live Aid, and he explained that he got the idea... Right. ...from and, this. And Martin, when you called him, he didn't want to do it. But he said, well, there's no point in doing charity shows. They make no difference. But he came along anyway. This is Bob Geldof. Yes, <laughs> yes. Now yes. look at him. Yeah. But look, he, look what you started. But what he did was he was inspired by seeing all the other musicians and the comedians. And I think Bob took away something from that. I think so. And saw that it could be done. And It um, changed his life. It did. But you know who sums it up best was Bono from U2. He said he saw the Secret Policeman's Ball and it, it planted a seed. And it, it kind of... Inspired inspired him and that's the way it goes even today we they do the shows in England and they got young American comedians like Sarah Silverman and Jimmy Fallon just did the show mm -hmm. so it's it's carried on to this day and it, it, it continues to spread the word even you younger people are these now. humanitarians that, that you've inspired well in, in a way but I think no, they got the inspiration from seeing the other performers. by the way I, I have a question since you know I, I, I've been aware of this since it started as you know well why is it called the secret policeman's ball well actually the title was came up accidentally by me I was having dinner with John Cleese and we were looking for a title for the show and we were kicking around the idea of it would be called an evening without and John was thinking about all the people he <laughs> wanted to spend an evening without and John <laughs> at one point said how about an evening without the secret police and I suddenly said very excited nervous because it's John Cleese uh -huh. and I was young and I said how about the secret policeman's ball and John said that's it that's the title is it your title uh, no I'm glad you asked me that. No, it's Martin Lewis's title. I can pin that one on him, but I thought it was quite funny. Well, the Pythons have been so supportive, and one of the things I've found that's amazing is that younger performers, they all look up to Monty Python. Yes. And they get... Yes. I mean, I once had a conversation with Mike Myers, uh -huh. and he turned out to be a huge Monty Python fan. Right. Drew Barrymore, they're big Python fans. As Monty Python looked up to Beyond the Fringe and... Yes, exactly. it's, it's, it's a generational thing. All right, the Secret Policeman's uh, Film Festival runs now through July 19th at the Egyptian Theatre in Hollywood this weekend. And for
for four weeks at the Bailey uh, Center in Beverly Hills. MyFoxLA.com has all the details. Martin Lewis, I always tease you. I always say you're pushy, you're aggressive, but you get a lot of good things done. Don't well, you? thank you very much. I learned from the master. Uh, it was always stop. good to as work with you.